So we're having a tough time trying to keep warm. So certainly the birds are having a tough time trying to keep warm. Uh, what can we do to help them during this tough time? I think one of the most important things is to give them food on a consistent basis. Uh, I was talking about New Year's resolutions a little bit earlier. So one, of, one of mine is to make sure I clean the feeders every now and then. But secondly, make sure I have food out there. I'm usually pretty good about this, but if you don't fill them up all the time, fill it up at the same time. Put a little bit out each day. At the same time, they'll get used to the schedule and they'll show up. And they'll find that dependable source of food. And the food is what maintains their heat and is obviously very important at this time of year, more so than in the summertime because it's warmer in the summertime and also they have more food available in the summertime. So just keep food available for them. If you have places for cover, bushes, stuff, and the feeder's not too far from that, they'll hop over in there and that helps them stay warm. But also provide water as best you can. There's things called bird bath heaters, which keeps a little pool of water thawed in the, when it's really cold. But make sure there's water out there. They need that to drink. They also need it for bathing, believe it or not, and it's very cold. Bathing's very important to birds. They don't get too wet and die of hypothermia. It helps keep their feathers clean and very fluffed out, which helps keep them very warm. Okay, so you talked earlier, before we started broadcasting, you mentioned, I've always wondered how do the birds stay warm during these very, very cold times when we can't stand to be outside. Yeah. I mean, what do they do in their little feet? I worry about their feet. Well, they're, they're built differently than we are. Many animals are built differently than we are. We tend to think of things in terms of humans, what affects us. Uh, we had mentioned earlier talking about sticking your tongue on a flagpole in the wintertime and it sticks or sticking your hands and may get stuck to some cold piece of metal because your hands slightly moist. Birds don't have that problem. Their hands aren't moist. They can sit on cold metal, grab it. They will not stick to it because there's no moisture to stick. Their hands are just almost like callus. It's just dry skin all the way up to notice their legs aren't fat until you get up to where the feathers are. Then you have a larger part that's more muscular, the rest of it's more tendons just to operate the hands. So they don't get cold like we do. And also the down they have under their main feathers is very, very good insulator. And uh, they have the feathers which are hollow in the core and the down underneath almost like a great jacket to have on year round. And their metabolism is different than ours. They can generate more heat. What about having the bird houses? I mean, you had mentioned, I know before, will they go there when it gets this cold? Will they go ahead and go into the bird houses? Some birds will. You know, I, I talk all the time about birds don't live in bird houses. They only go there to raise their young. In cold days, some birds will. We've noticed bluebirds especially, or some of the ones, sometimes chickadees, nuthatches, titmice, typical cavity nesting birds will go into a birdhouse to stay warm on really cold nights. You'll see them, in some cases, bluebirds have been seeing 10 or 15 birds pile in on top of each other in one box to stay warm. That's pretty unusual, but in your backyard, you may have a couple of bluebirds in there at night. Have you seen them? Yes, I have. Yes, wow. I have. I didn't get 15 or anything like that, but I did have three. Yeah. yeah, well, that's exciting to see them, yeah. I think, trying to bundle it. When you see the birds all, like, when you see them on a wire and they're all close together, are they trying to keep warm? I don't know. Uh, they they may be. Them. No, I didn't <laughs> ask them. They, uh, they may be doing that. Uh, you see them, especially, they, they do tend to puff up. There's that insulating quality of the feathers. It gets the down spread out. It gets the over feathers over top of that. Helps cut down the wind, maintains their body heat. And I'm sure they're in, when they're going to the birdhouses, they're on top of each other. They're very close. They're probably huddling together to maintain the heat. 